All right, Sir Guy Music, we are back with another edition of Sir Guy Music. Today we're going to take a look at Uptown Funk on the guitar. Very funky. Okay, we got two pretty intense chords to be played here. Um, how do they go? Well, pause the video, take a look at this tab so you can figure it out. Otherwise, uh, I'll uh, start the video lesson now. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we've got this funky guitar shape right here. Okay, now there's really something interesting to do here. If you got... You play your note, and you just keep your fingers pressed on here all the time. It sounds funky still, but not quite as funky as it should. You gotta, you gotta lift up your fingers ever so slightly. Let me see if I can get the camera. So this is I'm playing the note, I'm not playing the note. Playing the note, not playing the note. And when I'm not playing the note, my fingers are in position, but I'm not really getting much sound. I'm getting that funky kind of chop funk sound, I guess. So combine that sound with the sound, and you've got So I, it's kind of like I just keep strumming over here. This one's just going all day long. And then this one goes, uh, when I press it down, you can kind of see. Beep, 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 beep. All right, you can see my, I'm, I'm holding on my thumb on the back and I just squeeze the notes when I want to play them. Otherwise, I just keep chopping away. Okay, now, like I said, there's two chords in this one. Right, so far I've only been playing this first chord. Let's see what happens. So, first chord. Yeah, we heard that already. Then your pinky slides down here. Whoop, right, it drops down from the eighth to the seventh fret, and you get that second chord. All right, all of a sudden, we are doing the uptown funk. And it's just a little bit of a wee, 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 with your pinky finger back and forth. And, you know, like I said, that little funky chop sound, kind of mastering that. Those two skills, you'll be laughing. Okay, uh, one last thing that happens in this song. Well, there's a certain part where it goes from this D note, which is five on your A string, or your second string, if you want to call it. And then it goes all the way up to your 17 on your A string. Now, what's actually, I'm playing a D here, this is a D note, and I go through all the notes up to this D note, which is a really high one. And I can do it with one note at a time, like, uh, or I can do it with power chords. When you get up this high, just squish your fingers in there to get a power chord sound. But I'm confident you can do it. Um, either way sounds good. Uh, another little cheat, if you want. This D, the D string, right here. Your number three string, that's a D, right? Elvis ate donuts. Goodbye, Elvis. So we're on this D. I could start at zero right there and go to the next D, which is, of course, the twelfth fret, right? The double dot. So I could go... really easy if you're doing um, just regular power chord, or sorry, regular single note, single note. If you want to do power chords, it's a little trickier. you got to kind of play first one. First one will be zero on your D string, then on your G string is a two, and then on your B string is a three. And then you move up one, and you got to bring in this finger on that D string. And then it's really hard to keep it together in this weird kind of shape all the way up to there also you don't want to let your E string be ringing while you're playing that so one more time oh. what's going on here right as you 
you can tell, I usually play it with a regular power chord from five and try to squeeze it in all the way up here. I think that way it usually sounds best for me. I don't often do it on this crazy position. Okay, that's Uptown Funk, guys. Good luck. It's a funky song. Can't wait to play this in class with you. Boop.